A joint venture, at its very essence, is where two or more parties come together for a joint enterprise. And really there's two elements to a joint venture. You're looking at the sort of the hard asset side of it and a, a soft asset side. And normally one party has one and the other party has the others. And by the hard asset side, what I really mean is cash or resources, the ability to do things. And the soft asset side, that's really the more sort of intellectual property, know-how, or an idea, or a skill set. And a joint venture allows two parties which either have none or only a little of the other to come together to make one greater whole. Currently, there's a, a preponderance of joint ventures really because of the lack of cash in general. So trying to raise finance, as everybody knows, is very difficult from banks. And to the extent you can raise finance, in the same way if you're trying to raise finance from a bank for your house, you need to put much more equity in it. And so parties who've got cash to do projects might not have enough cash. And in the same way you may have, for example, in property development, you've got developers who've got a skill set, um, who've got a past history of developing properties, but they don't have the money and they can't get it from the bank in the way they used to. So they're going to parties who've got cash to uh, funds, private equity vehicles, whatever it may be, to try and put that cash in and allow them to do projects that they think they can deliver and do well. I disagree with people when they say that joint ventures are a last resort in these tough economic times. In reality, joint ventures have been around for a long while. It's merely because of the lack of access to finance in the current times that people are talking more about them and they're more in the news. Joint ventures are really, in many ways, a bit of a leap of faith. And the key thing that you have to have, really, with the other side is trust. And the reason why you need to have trust is that as soon as you enter into a joint venture, you lose control. And that's the key issue that people always forget really when they enter this joint venture is that if they own the asset, the business or the project themselves, they control it utterly. If they want to close it down, they can close it down. If they want to change the direction, they can change the direction. As soon as you get into bed with somebody else, suddenly you have to get taken on board somebody else's ideas, you have to listen to what they want to do, you have to give up the ability to do what you want to do. And that is the real disadvantage with it. In terms of the advantage, it's access to skills or assets that you don't have. It's the ability to do projects which you currently can't do at the moment.